Researchers from Denmark have discovered two new species of poisonous birds during an expedition to the jungles of New Guinea. These bird species carry a potent neurotoxin as a result of genetic modifications. The poisonous birds inhabit one of Earth's most pristine rainforests, an exotic place like no other in the world. Hearing the words poisonous and bird together will be a surprise for most people. But poisonous birds actually exist. Among the birds with known toxic traits are the Papua New Guinean Pitahui and Ifrita birds, the European quail, the spur-winged goose, hoopoes, the bronze-winged pigeon, and the red warbler. And now, more species have been discovered in New Guinea's jungles. These birds contain a neurotoxin that they can both tolerate and store in their feathers. Nud Johnson and Cassin Bodewater, of the University of Copenhagen have been on an Indiana Jones-like research trip, amongst warring tribespeople and ex-cannibals in the jaw-dropping biodiversity of New Guinea's rainforest. Here they captured two new bird species, each of which has developed the ability to consume toxic food and turn that into a poison of their own. The two birds that the researchers discovered to be poisonous are the regent whistler, Pachycephala schlegeli, a species that belongs to a family of birds with a wide distribution and easily recognizable song well known from across the Indo-Pacific region. And the rufous-napped bellbird, Elidrius rufinucha. No new poisonous bird species has been discovered in over two decades prior to this. Many people are familiar with the iconic poison dart frogs of South and Central America, particularly the golden poison frog. At the slightest touch, these small, brightly colored amphibians can kill a human. The discovery of two new poisonous bird species in New Guinea, both of which carry the same type of toxin in their skin and feathers, shows that the frog toxin is more widespread than previously thought. The poison in these birds' bodies and plumage is called batrachotoxin. It is an incredibly potent neurotoxin that, in higher concentrations, such as those found in the skin of golden poison frogs, leads to muscle cramps and cardiac arrest nearly immediately after contact. By forcing sodium channels in skeletal muscle tissue to remain open, batrachotoxin can cause violent convulsions and ultimately death. South America's poison dart frogs use their toxin to protect them from predators. The name batrachotoxin comes from the Greek word for frog, batrachos, and therefore means frog toxin. It is one of the most powerful known neurotoxins, 250 times more toxic than strychnine. Though the toxicity level of New Guinean birds is less lethal, it may still serve a defensive purpose, but the adaptive significance for the birds is unknown. The locals aren't fond of spicy food and steer clear of these birds, because, according to them, their meat burns in the mouth like chili. In fact, that's how researchers first became aware of them and the toxin can be felt when holding on to one of them. It feels kind of unpleasant and hanging on to one for long isn't an appealing option. This could indicate that the poison serves as a deterrent to those who would want to eat them, said Nud Johnson. According to the researchers, the poisonous birds are an expression of an everlasting evolutionary arms race in nature. It starts at the bottom of the food chain with beetles, insects and other invertebrates. Over time, some of these develop toxicity to avoid being eaten. Perhaps they also acquire a particular coloration that may serve as a warning. This, in turn, allows them to venture from their hideouts beneath logs and rocks. Then, a predator counters and suddenly, a bird species can eat them regardless. The predator too acquires a mutation that offers resistance to the toxin. This gives the bird an advantage and opens up a whole new food source that isn't available to its ecosystem competitors. So, there is clearly an arms race going on and the beetles will need to crawl back under that rock again until they've developed the next move a few million years later. Subsequently, the birds that have evolved the ability to eat toxic food, themselves become toxic and may be able to defend themselves against predators further up the food chain. And so, the race continues up the chain. It's evolution. Anything can happen, but it often takes a long time. In biology, there are two ways that animals deploy poisons. There are poisonous animals that produce toxins in their bodies, 
insects and others that absorb toxins from their surroundings. Like the frogs, the birds belong to the latter category. Both are believed to acquire toxins from what they eat. Beetles containing the toxin have been found in the stomachs of some of the birds. But the root source of the toxin itself has yet to be determined.